Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Um, today we're going to be doing an unboxing from a boxy charm and it is the, the boxy pop-up, that's what it's called. And basically it's for members um, only, for those who subscribe to uh, BoxyCharm, which is, as you know, a subscription beauty box. So the way the Boxy pop-up works is every month um, they will announce when uh, the window will open so that you can log in to your account and you're able to purchase items that are a discounted rate of up to 70%. And um, the way you're notified, it's not on a, it's not on a consistent uh, basis, so it's not a, like on a set schedule, uh, but if you follow uh, them on BoxyCharm, or on Boxy pop up on their Instagram, you will see announcements um, that they will post a couple days before announcing uh, when the um, you know when it'll open. And it normally stays open for I think two to three days, and after that, then it closes down until the next time. This is my very first Boxy pop up, and so I got all of these items. I got 16 items, and um, I will go over each one. Uh, letting you know the retail value um, and also what I paid for. The first item um, is from Seattle, London. This is the Editor Palette uh, Saint Tropez. Saint Tropez. I don't know how to pronounce that, but uh, they have two different versions, and um, this is the one I got. Uh, the price for this, the retail value, is thirty-nine dollars. This is what it looks like and I paid $12 for it with boxy pop-up. And the next item um, is this Becca Hydra Mist uh, Set and Refresh Powder. This is um, an awesome powder. I've purchased it before. I went through one whole one and then also a deluxe size. I love it. It's one of the only powders that works really well under the eyes um, and see you can see the color there this the retail value for this is um, $39 and I paid $12 the next thing is um, this Kaja dream puffy radiant mousse primer I have a couple of things from Kaja uh, their eyeshadows are really really good they have these little um, three eyeshadows um, kind of stacked up really cute packaging um, this is this is what they look like and I have a couple of these their the quality of those eyeshadows is really really good so this is the Kaja um, mousse primer um, retail value is $26 I paid $7 for it and I tried it on the back of my hand and it leaves a really nice um, natural glow so um, and it feels like it would be that kind of primer that's really gripping which is is great for the foundation um, so we'll put this back then we have this set from Corey's course I'm not sure how you pronounce it I'm sorry I should have looked these things up but uh, this is like the best from their lines this is a set uh, that's worth $36 and I paid $12. So it comes with a cleanser, a moisturizer, a uh, oil, and also a lip treatment. Great little set. I haven't really tried anything from that brand before, but um, which is why I, I purchased it. And also, um, it's great to try out a new product when you can try m different, multiple products at the same time and really give the, the brand a chance to see if it works. Um, Next thing I have is uh, this Paula's Choice Hyaluronic Acid Booster. The retail value is $36 and I paid $12. Here it is. Paula's Choice products um, are very highly regarded. I do own their BHA, um, I don't know, lotion. It's not a lotion, it's more like a, like a, a serum. Um, and I've been using that. I really, really like it. Then we have Touch and Soul. This is um, it's called Pretty Filter Mattish Liquid Eyeshadow. And the color is Charmed. So here's the packaging. Really, really beautiful. And this is 
the eyeshadow and it's a beautiful um, like muted peach which is like right up my alley see how pretty that is um, so for this the retail value is 16 and I paid four dollars for it next we have something from Pericone MD it's a, a skincare line which is very very pricey and they sell it at, at Sephora um, this is the high potency classics face firming serum and the retail value for this is $69 and I paid 19 so here it is and most of these products by the way you will find at, um, at Sephora here it is so excited about that uh, the first time I tried Paracone was like four years ago and I remember I purchased um, like a whole line, you know, all of the different steps for, for skincare, and it was a pretty penny. It was pretty expensive. Um, next, I have Becca Skin Love, and this is um, a, blur, a blurring primer. And the retail value is $39, and I paid $8. And here it is. So, a blurring primer, sign me up with my enlarged pores. I can never have too many, too many primers. We have some another product from Paracone MD. This one is a vitamin C uh, citrus brightening cleanser. Um, and retail value for this is $35 and I paid, what is it? $8. I'm just looking at my list because I want to give you accurate prices. So it's a brightening cleanser, which um, for me with the dark spots, um, I always try to find things that are brightening vitamin C there it is also really excited about that then we have uh, Playa which is kind of like a newer brand at Sephora and Playa means beach in Spanish this is a endless summer spray and there it is it smells as you would you know expect a very you know summery beachy waves you know uh, this one it retails for $24 and I paid $8 then we have cover effects blurring primer I actually have I own this and I love it I actually first got it on a boxy charm like two years ago and um, it works really really well it's one of those products that even if it's a little bit pricey it, it is is you know, there they are other options that I have found at the drugstore that work really well. Um, but for this price, I, I needed to just grab another one. Um, so the retail is $38, so it is pricey. And I got it for $6. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> um, next we have uh, from Glow Recipe, their Pineapple Vitamin C Serum. I also own a... a full size of this which I received surprise in one of my boxy charm boxes and by the way if this if this video is not sponsored um, trust me I wouldn't get sponsorship with all of my you know five subscribers that I have so this is what it looks like and you know as the name says it's uh, high in vitamin C um, retail for this it's a little bit pricey it's $49 and I paid 25 Then we have a set of brushes from Alamar Cosmetics, which again, I own, but I had to grab this back up because it was only $3. And the retail value is $18. So normally $6 each brush. In this case, we got, we got it for $1 each brush. Can't beat that. And they're, they're, and I've said this before, their quality is, is truly, truly um, great and uh, so worth it even if for the $18 it would still be worth it uh, next we have from Becca cosmetics the anti-fatigue under eye primer I've never tried this before this is new to me um, so I will try it and let you guys know you'll probably see me using it in a tutorial upcoming tutorial um, retail value for this is $32 and I paid $7 and that's what it looks like 
interesting color. I'm excited to try this and see how it works, if it really does make a difference. Then I bought these little scrunchies, the, they're invisible bobble. Um, it comes three in a set. Um, these are retail for $8 and I paid $2. So great there. And the last item is from Glam Glow and it is their Insta Mud uh, Pore Refining Treatment. And this is like a 60 second treatment and I love it because it's so practical. Um, and of course for my enlarged pores. I actually have tried this before um, and I love it. This is um, what it looks like and uh, the retail value is $42 and I got it for $12. So um, the grand total of what this would have cost, um, you know, based on the retail value of everything would be um, $539. And what I paid was $164, meaning I saved $374.80. So $375 I saved by going and um, by using boxy pop-ups. So it's something that I really truly recommend. As you can see, they have a um, great, um, you know, great list of products, high quality, um, expensive products that are, you know, still out on the market that you see constantly um, at Sephora and Ulta and whatnot. So it's not just products that are, you know, out, out of the shelves or that have expired or anything like that. These are pretty current products. So um, yeah, I'm really glad that, um, that I was able to get these. Um, sometimes the, um, because it's such a short window that they open it for, you know, it's really important to kind of make sure you go in like as early as you can on the first day so that, um, you know, you can get the things that you want because uh, the really popular products do go out of stock fairly quickly. So um, yeah, that is it for today's video. I, I will wrap it up. Um, I hope that you found this um, somewhat helpful and um, of some value. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Um, but other than that, I hope to see you on my next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye. It's one of the benefits that you uh, get um, as a boxy pop.